What's going on guys? Today uh, we're doing a video on our new roof rack for our Tacoma. Up Top Overland just revamped uh, a brand new rack called the Zulu Rack. Uh, we got one shipped out to us. We installed all of our accessories on it and I want to do a small review video. What we thought about it, what it looks like on the truck, and uh, kind of what we plan to do with it in the future. So, um, I would say this rack on install purposes, there's more hardware on this rack than uh, like a basic rack that has uh, two side fairings or uh, two side walls, a fairing, and then just the cross members. This rack due to there being uh, the main structure, side, uh, side pieces, and then the uh, cross members mounting from the top. Uh, there's definitely more hardware for this one. Doesn't make it bad, just requires a little bit more time. Uh, the aspects of this rack that we that I really really like is how clean and precise all these cuts and measurements are. This is already a very complicated uh, rack in itself. So making sure that the the cut for the actual rack matches the bend on the fairing is extremely impressive. This fitment is wild to me. Um, this whole rack is actually made out of stainless steel, which is the first one in the industry to, to, to be made this way. Um, they knew we had an XL80 bar to mount with other accessories. And so they sent us out the appropriate brackets to be able to mount this light bar and it be held on there really strong. Um, you got a little cutout here uh, for all of our wires to run down. This rack also comes, uh, we got the handles with it, which uh, for what they are, they're very strong, uh, very aesthetically appealing to the eye, especially with this rack. On our rack, we decided to mount a case for recovery gear. In this case, we carry chains, recovery gear, uh, pulleys, um, anything that is needed for recovery or just uh, off-road uh, enhancement in general. Then on the back side, we mounted our water port. This is an eight gallon, half inch walled, uh, longer tube one. Luckily, due to this rack being so wide, this uh, water tank mounts perfectly within its footprint. We actually, typically stock comes with a larger attachment that comes out to about right here. We custom made this attachment, press this in there so it has a lower profile. And then now this attaches into here. That's why we can shower, which is kind of nice. So strength wise, super good. Uh, this is going to be heavy. This is also going to be heavy. And this rack will hold up to those, uh, those weights. Coming around to the front, let's say that you don't have a light bar or an aftermarket light to put up there. There's also this wind fairing that can, that bolts in right here. To make this a full fairing so that you don't have uh, this empty gap. Let's see if it'll actually. There you go. So you get the idea. When the light bar is not there, this can uh, float in, completes the top. They give these aesthetic cutouts to kind of complete the look. Some other aspects about this rack that I do like uh, most racks mount to the side, uh, like. Uh, the feet go in the rails and mount to the side. This one actually mounts to the actual cross members, giving it a, a stronger weight limit um, due to the weight on the crossbars, not on the side members. So the fact that the feet are attached to the cross members makes them stronger. Uh, this rack does require silicone. So when you're putting in the spacers, make sure you add a sufficient amount of silicone when adding like your bolts to make sure that the rack is waterproof um, or you don't get rust. Uh, another aspect about this rack that's different for our Tacoma, uh, this is a short length rack. All the racks are gonna come at full length, so we're cutting off like an additional 18 inches here. They were willing to make this shorter rack for us so that it accompanied our Harker camper. The Zuba rack is not this short. It typically is a full length rack and then they'll probably offer 
uh, sh uh, shorter lengths like this one in the future if they're not already up on the website. Aesthetics, I really, really, really like the aesthetics of it. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first, but once it was installed, huge fan. Um, these little side fairings here can actually come off and you can paint them, uh, let's say the color of your truck, which kind of gives like a cool aesthetic outline because this would be black, this would be black, and then this would be white or gray or another color. So there's a lot of competition out there for racks in general. I'd say this rack is in its own category. Yes, it's a roof rack, but the styling, the way that it mounts, accessories, uh, side plates, it's in its own category. And the fact that it's made out of stainless steel uh, it just sets it at another level for roof racks, which we like. Uh, being able to stand out, look different, opposed to just the straight uh, diagonal down, straight fairing in the front. So that's where this one is going to stand out. Strength and all that stuff is going to hold up to all of its competitors. So if you are interested, uh, interested in this rack, we're going to put the links down below. You can read more about them, uh, thickness of the stainless steel, all the accessories that you can add to them and whatnot. Um, but for now, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.